Today I'm going to show you how to make nest two different ways. One only has three ingredients and is quickly baked and comes together super fast. And the other is no bake and to stir everything together in a bowl. You can make them in beautiful molds or you can even bake them in muffin tins. It's super easy and anyone can do it. Let's get into it. So the first nest that we're going to make is the kind of crunchy white chocolate coconut nest. So in my bowl, I've got white chocolate that I've melted. Um, you want to use a good quality uh, white chocolate, so any like Ghirardelli bars or lint, any of those will be really nice. Um, and then you've got, this is coconut oil that I've also melted. You can melt these together in the microwave. I just melted them separately to show you. So go ahead and get those together. The coconut and the white chocolate, or oil and white chocolate are what's going to help this kind of set in the refrigerator. So it's not, you know, this isn't tempered chocolate or anything fancy like that. It's just we're like relying on the fat to solidify. So in our, we now we've got our white chocolate and coconut oil mixture. And to that I'm going to add salt. This is kosher salt. And then this is shredded coconut. This is sweetened shredded coconut that has been toasted. Um, I just put it on a pan in the oven that's already preheated for our second nest. And um, yeah, you're going to need to kind of like toss it as it toasts or you're going to get like burned bits and white bits and honestly, but whatever you want to do. So then we're going to mix that together. So this is part of the crunch, right? And then the rest of the crunch are corn, corn flakes. So I've actually kind of crushed these by hand a little bit to make smaller pieces because we don't want like a, I mean, I guess you could, but um, go ahead and get those into the bowl. You could use a different corn cereal. As long as it's like crunchy uh, on its own and it'll stay crunchy. So it's just, you know, it's about getting it to stay crunch. All right, now you can see that this is, it's nicely tossed together. But the problem is that it falls apart, and that is because our oil and our chocolate are still hot. So unfortunately, we kind of need to let this cool just a little bit, or we're going to waste our time trying to press it into our molds. Now, we can talk about molds if you want. You could press these into little bowls if you'd like. Um, you could also use, what we're going to do is use muffin tins. It's not going to make a perfect um, round cup, but it's going to be thereabouts and easy to achieve at home. If you wanted to purchase silicone molds, you could do so. I'll link down below. So anyways, we're just going to let this cool just a little bit. And while we do that, we might as well just go ahead and make our other ones. All right. <laughs> Brace yourselves. This is going to blow your minds. So we're going to use three ingredients. Two of them are technically optional. Uh, we're going to use toffee. So I'm using fresh katafi, which is basically like phyllo dough that is just in thin strips. So some grocery stores carry this, mine does not. So I got it on Amazon, which means you can too. So anyways, we've got katafi, we've got confectioner sugar, and we've got melted butter. Yes, all of the good things in life. I'm going to pull it out. So it is fresh, so it makes it a little soft. If you find it in your grocery store, it's probably going to be in the freezer section, to be honest. Um, the ones I'm used to seeing have a little bit longer strips. These are a little shorter, which is going to make our task ever so slightly hard. Er. But we've got this because we are awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some katafi. You know what? Sadly, she's not going to stay in strands. Normally, I would take it and I would kind of wrap it, right? Like make a really pretty nest like that. We're gonna make a, uh, let's, let's call it a more traditional bird's nest, shall we? <laughs> so just go ahead and press it. All we're doing is we're pressing this little nesty into this, into the muffin tin. Yeah, I know. You're like, that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now, I have preheated my oven to 325. If you forgot, do it now. Step two of three. Get yourself a pastry brush, or use your finger, whatever you want to use, and we're going to get the butter all up in there. If there's no specific amount of butter, you're just kind of like, you know, you just want to make sure that it, everyone gets some butter. One, because it's the binder, and two, because it tastes 
delightful. I'm not being too persnickety about it, which is odd for me, but you know, today is a new day. All right, boom. Step two, done. You're like, what? I know. Now we are gonna get ourselves some time acts, if you will. And we are just going to dust it on top. Why? Because it tastes good. Could you omit this step? Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in my preheated oven. 325, uh, convection, standard will do. Um, and we are just going to let them toast. So you wanna bake them until they're kind of crisp so the katafi will get nice and crispy like phyllo dough. Um, and that's what we want. All right, let's check back in with our other little guy here. You know, it's not cooling fast enough, probably because it's kind of warm in here. That's fair, you know? So what I'm gonna do, oh, okay, is I'm gonna go ahead and press it into the molds. I'm gonna put them in the, the fridge. I'm gonna set a timer for only a few minutes, and then I'm gonna go back and kind of press them out, okay? Because quite frankly, it's gonna take all day to like get this to do its thing here. So I'm just gonna like put like a, you know, a couple tablespoons in each one. If you can get your hands on some theatine, then these will be even prettier. Cause obviously the cornflakes will only kind of like smooth out as, you know, as much as they can. It's not their fault. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spend the, <laughs> the time to just press it out. You know, and then I'm gonna be very gentle and loving when I place it in my fridge, right? So all I'm doing is I'm kind of like moving it to the side like this, right? And that is how I'm going to kind of try and create a space in the center where my nest will be. All right, we've done it. Point your fingers, I've done it. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna carefully, gently, lovingly place this in the refrigerator where it is going to set and then I'm going to show you. So they baked about 15 minutes. I was trying to make sure that the bottom got nice and toasty. Um, and so, you know, you, you just kind of have to look down there and see, you can also poke your finger in there and see like when the katapi starts to get a little dry feeling as opposed to wet and soft. Um, and then we're just gonna let these cool. I know, it's a bummer. But the good news is that we've got our other nest, which doesn't have to cool. And I'm gonna grab those right now. Yeah, check these little guys out. Totally. So they've completely set. So basically now you can just kind of pop them out of their little muffin liners. And what have you got here? Oh well, yes, a nest. Isn't that exciting? Now if you, this, you see how there's chocolate on the bottom? That is because we put it in there when it's still warm. So if you kind of like let it cool down at room temperature uh, and then you pop it in the refrigerator, then you won't get that. You'll get a nice even coating everywhere. But <laughs> what is patience? I don't know today anyways. So yeah, look at this. All of our little nesties. Aren't they cute? So then you can, you know, leave them unadorned, right? Or you can go ahead and kind of fill them with some beautiful little eggs of choice. Um, they'll be the perfect garnish for, you know, a, a dessert table, or you can put it on top of a cupcake or on top of cakes. Um, really, any dessert would be <laughs> super excited to get this, I'm just saying. You can put a mousse inside. Now there's an idea, kids. So you can go ahead and make these probably in jumbo size. And then you could pop my white chocolate mousse on the inside and like, then you could adorn it with all the little pretty candies. I mean, the world is your oyster. All right, hopefully these guys over here have cooled. I'm gonna grab an offset to help me get them out. So I don't, you know, poke them, poke a hole in them in the bottom. Look at that. Yeah, so they're a little more fragile, eh? okay? They're delicate. Uh, they're more delicate than these guys. But as they cool, they will kind of set a little bit more firmly, but they're still gonna shed their little nest <laughs> bits everywhere. Whatever, I think it's part of the charm. 
and you could also fill these with eggs or mousse or anything you want. And now you've made nests two different ways. They're both super easy and come together in under 30 minutes. And you know, you can use them to adorn anything that you'd like.